Hello YouTube, this is Patrick, and this is my review of Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 11, Fuck Carl, or Judge Jerry and Executioner, whatever. Um, yeah, so I've been complaining that the show really needs to just do what Lost used to do and have episodes center around one character and that'd be it. Um, it'd be a better, a better show if they did something like that. I don't mean with like flashbacks or anything like that, but... You look at last week's episode where there was barely anyone in it, um, or just uh, much less, and it was probably the best episode they had done um, since the premiere. Um, yes, I, I'm even counting the episode where Sophia got like shot, but um, but still. But anyway, they go ahead with this week's episode with everyone is in it, and ended up being good. Um, the thing is, though, we're at the end of the season now, so now this is the point where everyone is supposed to be in the episode because uh, everyone's, like, arc for the season um, is supposed to be coming to a head by now. Um, which is fine. And we had some good stuff. Um, you know, some characters were redeemed, some characters were put in the garbage. There was a T-Dog sighting. He got, uh, I think he got two lines... Uh, so he's earning his contract this year, uh, his money. Um, well, there's at least one less spot for him, uh, one less, uh, character to take, you know, screen time away from him now. Um, but I'll get to the ending f at the end here. Um, I will say that it was a much slower episode, there was very little zombie action except for the one stuck in the, in the woods. Um, but that was okay, because everything... The episode was about one singular thing. Uh, which was basically Dale going around to everybody and trying to decide what to do about this, uh... Well, no, it was about what to do about this guy. Do we kill him, or do we not kill him today? That's it. You know, by sundown. Uh, so there was a sense of urgency to the actual plot of the episode. It was something that was gonna happen that mattered. That, you know, you wanted to see how it was gonna resolve by the end. So what happens? Oh, holy shit, you get a good episode, you know. Like, it's that difficult. Um, first, I guess I'll go with the bad this episode. First, uh, we'll go with Carol, who's gotten over the death of her daughter way too fast. I know you can't just have her mope, um, but I mean she's just like a dead fish, pretty much. Uh, you know, you're floating around like someone's gonna take that out of there uh, eventually, and uh, unless they do something drastic with her, I, I have no idea why she's there. Um, or why she has more lines than T-Dog. Or, uh, whatever. Um, the, the girl that slit her wrist last week, you know, she's sitting in bed, you know, still in bed. Um, I don't know why she's still in bed. Um, I don't really care. Uh... Yeah, so that's kind of, you know, dead-end stuff. Well, let's see, what, what was the other... Uh, you know what? Carl. Uh, now, I know people are going to say, like, hey, he's ten years old, ten years old, ten-year-old people act out, especially when they're in that kind of circumstance. That is bullshit. Anyone watching that show or watching this video right now was ten years old once. Maybe you're ten years old right now. Were you that stupid when you were ten years old? I know I was. Wasn't. But, uh... I, I wouldn't throw a rock at a beehive let alone a, a zombie. I wouldn't tell a mother that just lost her child that the kid wasn't in heaven. If the mother came over and started talking that shit to me about, you know, oh, she's in be a better place now, I'd be like, yeah, okay. And that'd be it. And Rick, you know, told him, like, oh, you gotta think first, talk later, you know. And I get the whole point of it was to be what happened at the end of the episode, that now he's got something awful on, the, on his conscience. Um, which, again, I'll get to that in a little bit, but just... Just too much, just too awful, too stupid. You know, I was rooting for the zombie uh, in the woods. That's not what you're supposed to be doing on the show, rooting for the zombie. Ever. Ever. You know, every time you see a zombie on the show, you shouldn't be thinking, yes, uh, you know, someone's going to die. No. I, I was hoping, you know, he screwed up, and I was hoping he finally got bit and it was done. But instead, someone else went. Um, I guess I'll just mention, uh, you know what, no, before I get to Dale, 
I mentioned that about Lost, about how the show is a lot like it. People have been talking about that, not just me, but Daryl was pretty much the Sawyer of the show, and the episode opened with Daryl beating the shit out of uh, the guy, which basically reminded me of, you know, Ben Linus getting his ass kicked in the hatch. Uh, there's a lot of parallel stuff with that, um, with this show. I just kind of just throw that out there. Um, anyway, Dale walking around and having decent conversations with characters, with Andrea, uh, with Shane. Even the conversation with Shane, it wasn't two people bickering. It was two people who couldn't be further apart on their viewpoint, but they were having a conversation about it, which was nice to see for a change, especially for Dale, who's been a character that, you know, if you look at his character this season, he's done nothing. They set him up in the end of season one, saving Andrea, um, you know, and there was going to be the fallout of that. Even there was a little bit in the first episode. He was going to have to, you know, come to deal with what happened, uh, how she's going to feel toward him. Um, and then, who knows? And plus, you know, he was pretty resor resourceful. Uh, and then the character just went in the tank. Like, a lot of things about the show this season, just right into the tank. Um, to the point where early on in this episode, I'm thinking, like, oh, God, you know, Dale, like, enough out of you. And as the episode grew on, and as they got to that argument in the in the um, in the living room, I was you know leaning toward his side and his viewpoint, and that was Jeffrey Demun that was able to do that, and the writing of that scene. Um, you know, I like that Andrea switched sides and said, "No, let's not do this." Um, you know, I like how you know, but he he was saying like you know you. How can you want to do this? No one wanted to, you know, kill that guy. It's just the situation they were in. Um, but I like how he, you know, basically told them all off. I bet none of you are going to watch. I bet you're just going to go sit here and just, you know, that'll be it. Um, so they gave him some really strong stuff to play. And very much like, again, a lost episode, you knew if it was someone-centric episode, there was a bigger chance of them dying. And it was just playing out that way. We were toward the end of the season... Um, he, he had not gotten this significant amount of screen time all year, um, and good dramatic stuff he was doing, and I'm like, this guy's, this guy's on his way out, I think. Um, and sure enough, the whole thing with Carl, when he didn't tell anyone, another, thank you, yeah, don't tell anyone the zombie's there. You know, idiot. Um... Didn't tell anyone, and second Dale walked out of the house, and he walked up by himself, I was like, he's done. And that didn't surprise me that he that he went. Um, what surprised me was how upset I was about it, and um, how how genuinely like awful it actually was to watch. I wasn't like, oh, awesome! Look, he's ripping his guts out. I was just like, oh, this sucks. Um, they waited way too long to shoot him in the head, um, and I like that Rick couldn't do it. Um, I mean, he shot Sophia. Uh, who was a zombie, but he couldn't shoot the one guy. Uh, I guess he was going to before Carl, like, stepped in. Uh, but he just couldn't shoot Dale, and I like that Daryl was able to step in and do it. And it didn't make, like, Rick... I don't think... I really don't think it made Rick look weak, him not being able to shoot it. He was just that, you know, upset. Um, but, uh... But, yeah, there's other... The, even the, st the stuff this week with Glenn and, and Herschel... I like Herschel. Um, I like his character. I mean, he was an idiot, but uh, I, you know, earlier on, but I like the way he is now. Um, I like his kind of, like, outlook. Uh, I like how he just says, I don't want to know what's going to happen. Uh, he's just done with it. And, uh, it, it's fine. I prefer it to what he was. Um, the whole Glenn and Maggie, they, you know, the whole Glenn and Maggie thing, they're going to get back together, obviously, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I said that was annoying, it was just spacing things out, and it is, but, um, some time away from it makes me want to, you know, see somebody happy again. Uh, which is why I didn't want them to break up in the first place. Uh, by the way, the actress playing Maggie is British. Uh, she's doing a hell of a job in her accent, that's really good. Um, and Andrew Lincoln's gotten better with his. Andrew Lincoln plays Rick, who's also British. Um, I don't notice it anymore, I noticed it a little bit in the first season. Uh, let's see what else. Shane's character 
I thought was going to be, was, you know, kind of going into the, uh, brought back into the light last week, uh, but he's not. He's just going to turn around again, um, which pretty much uh, makes me believe he's not, he's a character that you can understand, like, you know, it's been a whole season of him, you know, going this, like, road to probably eventually dying. Um, and the show needs two major deaths, I think, to uh, get something done. Dale is one. It needs one more. Three would be nice, but it needs one more. Um, and it needs to be well done, like like it was in the uh, in, la in last night's episode. Um, I think that's it. Um, good episode. Uh, the fact that these last two were good aggravates me about... You know, the fact that these last two were good and the whole thing with Sophia and them eventually shooting her, they were plot points this season. Really good. They just should have condensed it. This is a 13-episode season. It should have been 10. should have been 10. You know, there's nothing wrong with 10 episodes. Um, season 3 is greenlit. Got the green light. It's 16 episodes. You know. Um, but we're going to be in a different setting because I know who they... certain characters they cast... Um, wow, this went, went on way too long. Um, okay, I guess that's it. Look out for spoilers on the internet. Um, I read an article in Entertainment Weekly that uh, basically said AMC and their infinite wisdom um, spoiled something from the end of this from the end of this season on their Blu-ray and DVD release. Um, so just look out for that, and don't go on any message boards. If you're going to put a spoiler in the comments on here, go ahead, but anyone else, you know... Just try to avoid looking, I guess. Alright. Take care, guys.